welcome to musings by midnight in this episode we are talking going to think about or say reflect upon our mind you see it is our mind that helps us think that helps us reflect that helps us muse upon various aspects of our life now when we start thinking about pain in our lives about our future about our relationships about happiness about why did this happen why why uh, so many things happen our mind does not have answers to everything our mind has a limitation that we all have experienced more than once in our lives now this mind has limitation because this mind is created when we were born and it will be destroyed when we will die when it comes to the answers before our birth and after our death or to uh, to the questions that relate beyond this physical body maybe it's related to the emotions or to our mental state the mind is a little bit limited in finding the answers to them so we attempt to go beyond mind we try to meditate we try to quiet our mind tell it to keep quiet for a while in a thoughtless state and try to explore what is outside this mind and find answers from that uh, aspect of our existence now when we go beyond mind what we find out when we find out the answers like when we find out sometimes we find answers sometimes we don't but whenever we go in that area beyond the mind and then we try to explain what we found out in that aspect in that experience through our mind through our words it is almost impossible right now when we talk about infinite consciousness when we talk about the supreme when we talk about the creator when we talk about the absolute truth about our creation and about our existence in this world we cannot use our mind to think and talk about it because this is well beyond what this mind is and our mind is in a very limited capacity to understand and describe these things so some of the great teachers throughout the existence of human being have used number of stories metaphors symbols to explain to make us understand in this world through this mind what is the nature of our existence what is the nature of our creator what is this infinite consciousness and how is it related to this body to this existence of ours how is it related to the relationships around us many great people have come on this earth and try to explain these things to us using stories metaphors and symbols now when they describe this again it is a limitation it is not complete description they are just describing one small aspect of the truth and it is also not complete description of that aspect it is just pointing us towards that absolute truth we have to keep in mind while following our religion our philosophy or reading any other religion or any other philosophy we always have to remember this that whatever we are studying whatever we are following is really 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 minuscule aspect of the truth of the absolute truth the absolute truth is well beyond 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 our understanding so with this episode we end the musings part of our midnight uh, hours and we go to uh, go 
try to go beyond mind using a metaphor, a story, as described by one one great lady, uh, and she has written a book on it. So we will use that book because I I found it particularly interesting uh, because it did not relate to any religion or any particular philosophy. All uh, uh, at the bottom, or you say the basic belief upon which this book was based, uh, is the existence of God or the Creator. She calls it God, and the existence of soul in this human body. So the belief is that the soul exists even after the body is dead, and there is a life after death. So based on this basic fundamental beliefs, the story is uh, written, and she calls it to be a true story, a true experience. So we will try to attempt to understand this absolute truth and improve our lives towards more happiness, more success, more peace. and overall overall great life try to improve it to a next level using this story there is a disclaimer to this we will not take it word by word because you have to understand you have we have to remember whenever we are listening to the story is that this is just a symbol just a metaphor describing trying to describe a single aspect of our existence and this aspect is one of the many aspects of our existence so we will attempt to understand this creation in next few episodes in the new series